I'm sad. Why? Why? Not enough time. Yeah. Yeah, I think the Amanda thing is kind of setting in, and it just feels like sad or something. I just wanted like more of a challenge in there, mm-hmm. and I've been working so hard to at least like make some adjustments, catch some punches, got to do some things differently or something. They were overworking for a sparring session, brother. Yeah. Like, I wanted to be in there a little longer. <laughs> well, there's a lot to unpack here. Uh, you're obviously – levels above i think where anyone has seen you but it was hard to tell with that guy um so how do you feel about the level of opponent that you picked because i know the number one critique that you're going to see online is that this guy wasn't a fighter that could match your skill yeah but i guess on paper he he's supposed to be i would like his record his background being a three-time golden gloves champion and then, yeah, like the, he just comes underprepared or I'm sharper than than these guys, you know, way sharper than these guys. So I think we really have to take a step back and like assess the level of opposition. But that's what we're doing here is getting the experience under the lights and building my career and seeing where the levels are. OK, this guy 10 to 1, Andre August, one round. OK, let's go with the guy who has twice as many fights. One round. OK, you know, maybe we need to. Go somewhere else and figure out who could be a who could be a tougher tougher fight for me because that's that's what I want. Uh, on the path to world champion, I need those hard experience rounds, and you know these guys aren't able to give it to me, and so that's why I'm a little bit disappointed. Obviously, it's cool, whatever, knock them out in the first round. It's electric, turned up, but overall, I just feel like it's like annoying, it, and the whole Amanda thing is just. It, it wasn't even just the knockout. The, the the bittersweet thing for me on the sweet side was the support for you from everyone in there, it gave me chill. Man, I wanted to damn near cry for you because every arena we've been in, there's a, there's a fair amount of people booing for you. Yeah. And that was the first time I've seen That's crazy. Shout out Puerto Rico. Man, they, were, they, you guys. they were louder for you here than they were in Cleveland. Yeah, yeah. seriously. That's crazy, dude. Here. They wanted Tyron Woodley to win in Cleveland. Oh, fam, God. fam, they were chanting Gallo. Yeah, that was the coolest. That's Gallo. probably one of the coolest Gallo. moments Gallo. of my career for sure. Is you belong yeah, here. Oh, you have your own Puerto Rican nickname. Bro, that's so cool. Oh, guy that is that is the highlight of the night that but be focusing on positivity that that is the the highlight of the night and just always i guess like yeah be another positive thing just being here with family always it's like a family reunion these fights and it's just so cool to bring everyone together and that i'm very grateful yeah you do got to get the guy tattoo bro i gotta get like a crazy rooster with boxing crazy right? rooster yeah, it it's such sick. a cool nickname dude 